El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie, is the feature-length Breaking Bad movie that none of us knew that we wanted until we got it, but who am I kidding, we could all use a little bit more Breaking Bad in our lives, and was written and directed by Breaking Bad creator Vince Gilligan, and once again stars Aaron Paul as Jesse Pinkman, and takes place directly after the events of the series finale of Breaking Bad, and we see Jesse on the run from, you know, what happened, and now he's basically on the run from everyone and everything, and he, you know, needs to try to find a way to get out of this, um, and just find a way to live some semblance of a normal life, at least for Jesse. Now, this review will be spoiler-free. If you've never seen Breaking Bad, obviously this is, movie's not going to make any sense to you, and you're not really going to find any enjoyment, but if you've seen Breaking Bad all the way through it, and if you haven't, you still should, um, then this is going to give you a great sense of, like, finality and conclusion, especially for Jesse's character, and it's just great to see him, like, you know, get his own, like, leading role, and, like, just see his story come to a good conclusion is film is great. Now, for those of you that know me, I'm a huge Breaking Bad fan. I've loved the show ever since I saw it way back in 2016. I binged it in like a month or something like that. Um, and just fell in love with the characters, the world, and everything about it. Um, and it was one of the first like real like character, not studies, but really like made me notice like what characterization can do for storytelling in film and TV. Um, and once again, this film like goes right back to that. You feel like you're in that world with the characters and especially with how it characterizes everything, the direction of it all, it feels just at home and nothing really feels different except for that like slight bit of cinematic touch that is just like the cinematography like is so different <laughs> and so good um, and it's just like Mwah, I love it. Now Aaron Paul, whew, this man is Mwah. no I've done that kissing motion a lot but he is Mwah. he is fantastic in this film just like he was as Jesse in the rest of the show and here he continues that trend of like it's like he never left the role at all um he comes right back into it fully swinging and he's just knocking it out of the park in every single scene if it wasn't about Jesse and if it wasn't Aaron Paul I don't know why it wouldn't be but if it wasn't this film definitely would not be as good as it is his performance in the film just everything that he goes through the ups and downs and everything in between is just fantastic and Oscar voters don't let this movie slide away. Let Give Aaron Paul an Oscar nomination, please. The man deserves it. He is amazing. And just this, this film as a whole is a great study for Jesse's character, his past, his present, his future, and everything in between, which I don't know why I would say that, but it's great to see like him realize like who he is, what he wants, and like everything like that. Because in the show, he was never the lead. He was always the side character. But there, when there were moments of exploring his characters, it was some of the most interesting in the entire series. And he was definitely my favorite character of the show. So for him to have a whole film dedicated to him and exploring him was, oh, I made me so happy. Now, obviously, it's hard to go into story details um, because, you know, I don't want to spoil anything. And especially, I don't want to spoil anything from the show because... Go watch the show. It's amazing. It's fantastic. But in terms of like the whole of the story, if you've seen the show, you know, you'll feel right at home mainly with like the pacing and like kind of like the events that happen. Because if you've seen Breaking Bad, you know that like it's a lot of slow build up to like a big climax. Not every single episode, but it happens a lot. Um, you don't really know where it's going to go. And then it's just like, bam. And it's just, whoa, that's crazy. I didn't expect that to happen. That film, the film is exactly the same way because uh, Vince Gilligan uh, wrote and directed this. So he knows exactly what he wants to do and the minute details that he puts into everything and the slow burn build up to it. Now, that could be a problem for some people. They could th think the film is uneventful, a bit boring, nothing really happens, but that's not really the reason to see it. The reason is to explore Jesse and his character, not for like, you know, big events. Like, you know, oh, meth lab, oh, explosions, gunfires. That's not what this is about. That's that's not even what Breaking Bad is really about. Breaking Bad was always an exploration of character and like, you know, how like, you know, certain events really shape people and this film is exactly like that. So if you're going in expecting some big action thing, don't expect that. Expect a slow burn uh, build up drama that's really heavy in dealing with character and you're going to find a lot to enjoy in this. Now in terms of like making this into a movie rather than like a big TV special I think you've helped it a lot by making it a movie. The, obviously the increase of the budget allowed them to uh, do something very different with the cinematography. It gives it that movie feeling rather than that TV show feeling. I feel like that if they shy like the show and like you know lit the same way and everything like that it wouldn't feel as eventful. It would just feel like a much longer episode but by doing it in this manner it gives it that extra cinematic feel and like the cinematography in this is mwah, it is beautiful every shot is minutely detailed and figured out and the lighting and everything in between about it is just 
fantastic. One of the best aspects of the film, and it just always made me like you know want to see what they were gonna do next. And there was one shot that was really effective that had a gun in it. I'm not gonna say what it was, but when you see it, you'll know it. And it was just whoo. That was fantastic. I love this, that it was a movie. I love the feel of it. It was just great. <laughs> so yeah, as a whole, El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie, is a fantastic conclusion um, to one to my favorite character of the show. And it could be another conclusion to the show as well. Um, even if you don't want to see it, I still say that you should see it. It's still fantastic. And if you haven't seen Breaking Bad, go watch Breaking Bad, then watch this, then watch Better Call Saul, which is the prequel to Breaking Bad, because that's also great. Um, and just this world and these characters are some of my favorites. And again, it's all about that experience exploration of character that the show and this movie does so well. It's the reason why everyone f fell in love with it in the first place. It's not about the events or what happens, it's about the characters and how they change and how they grow. That's what made the show and this movie so enticing and why it's so good. I'm going to give El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie, a 9 out of 10. This film was fantastic. I loved every single second of it. Never felt like it was dragging. I loved Aaron Paul in this film. He is just incredible. Oscar voters, again, keep him in mind, please please, as well as the whole of the film in general. It's so great. It feels it feels like it's a continuation, but it also feels like its own thing it is just fantastic. And for those of you that have seen Breaking Bad, the film is on Netflix right now, available to watch, so you have no excuse. So go out and watch it. And for those of you that haven't seen Breaking Bad, go watch it, watch this, then watch it, uh, Better Call Saul, because you gotta get the full experience. It's all about the characters. That's why it's so great. I know I've said that a lot, but that's the truth of it, and that's why I love this film so much. It's so good. It was one of my most anticipated films of the year, even though I didn't know about it until like a month ago. But still, besides that, it's now one of my favorite films of the year, despite that. And so, yeah, it was fantastic. I loved it. You should go see it. All right, that was my review of El Camino. I hope that you all enjoyed it, and be on the lookout for more reviews coming in the future. And make sure you check the links in the description below for my uh, other review on Mason Cable Network for um, from the cinema. And one of my most recent uh, videos on there was a Joker um, discussion with uh, some of my friends, and it was fantastic. And you should all go check out the playlist of those. All right, I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace.